Hello, hello, everybody. I'm very happy to be here. I just, you know, almost having dinner ready and I wanted to jump in and do a quick live. Um, I'm doing an intuitive reading for the new moon in Leo because today is the new moon. But before, let me explain to you what this new moon. Hi, Rachel, how are you? Um, so um, let me explain what the new moon is first. So in the new moon, um, it's the perfect moment in the moon cycle to plant seeds. We can set intentions and then those intentions, we focus on them and then um, in, they're going to show up in a period of six months. So whatever we do today marks a period of six months for us. So because it's in Leo, Leo is a fire sign. Uh, and it's a sign that is very charismatic, it, it's very courageous, it lives in authenticity. Um, that's some of the good traits, we're not going to talk about the, the traits that are mo most uh, challenging uh, in Leos. Um, but what we need to focus on in, is in acquiring, embracing those energies of Leos, which is, you know, being courageous, authentic, being a leader connecting to who we want to be, how can we inspire other people. So then with this new moon, we can just ask ourselves very different questions. Uh, I haven't done it, but after dinner, I'm going to just sit down here and next to my altar and I'm going to do um, some journeying. Um, so you can ask yourself these questions. If you want, uh, take a notepad and write this down. Um, what do I most want to create? Okay. Um, how can I express myself in total authenticity? How can I uh, empower myself uh, or be more empowered in my daily life? That's another, another question. Another uh, question you can ask yourself is, what new aspects of myself am I discovering? Um, because... Um, Leo is also about focusing on your gifts and your talents. And it happens that many times we don't know what, or we are not 100% sure what our gifts and talents are. Um, and we are in constant evolution sometimes. And it, it can be that later on we discover something that we didn't know uh, was there within us, okay? So that's why I wanted to ask that question. What new aspects of myself am I to discover or am I discovering? How can you be, another question, how can you be a more compassionate leader and, or a more compassionate and inspiring leader? And uh, where are you better placed to inspire other people? So... Um, I hope you uh, wrote that down. I'm going to uh, pick a couple of cards here for this new moon in Leo um, to see um, how um, to give you an idea of, you know, how you can focus on this energy uh, and give you some help, give you a little push with this, with what the cards are saying. So what do you most want to create? This is general for all of us. Hold on. Okay, right now what you might want or what we all want to create um, in general is new connections. We're getting the lovers. We want to create connections. This can be relationships. This can be um, partnerships. Uh, in work, but we want to create connections that are real, that are authentic, that are based in my values, in, in the values I share. Because remember, my values or your values, right? Your core inner values are the backbones of your actions. And this is something subconscious because our values are in our subconscious mind. But whatever is important to me, my actions, I'm going to be drawn to that, okay? My actions are going to reflect my core values. And you want to create connections right now 
that are in alignment with, with those values, um, that are in alignment with your energy, with your vibration, people that you really vibe with. And when we talk about vibing, it's really, we are in the same frequency. We are, I like that energy. We are compatible. So this can translate into close relationships, romantic or love, or but this can also be, you know, um, with friends or with partners in business. So right now what you want to create is new uh, and authentic and true connections, real connections. How can uh, uh, you express yourself more authentically? And again, uh, this is just to give you an idea, uh, to give you some guidance, but uh, ideally you can take those notes of whatever I'm saying and then do your own journey and ask yourself these questions and answer them depending on what your soul is saying. So what, uh, how can you express yourself more authentically? And we're getting the moon. Okay, the moon is, this is telling me uh, two different things. On one side, the moon is um, about, about how I nurture myself. Um, what is, what is in our subconscious mind as well? Um, how do I take care of myself? How do I take care of others? Uh, the moon is about my emotional needs, um, and how I am satisfied or how my emotional needs can be satisfied, uh, in a way. So you, uh, when this card shows up, sometimes um, it can be, it can show uh, anxiety, uh, it can tell us about worrying about the future or worrying about the past. So when we take a look uh, into this, what this it's telling me is that we need to take a look into those emotions. We need to take a deep dive into, am I worrying about the past, which is depression, or am I worrying about the future, which is um, uh, anxiety? So instead of blocking those emotions, I need to really look at them and understand why they are there and be honest to yourself and say, okay, I am experiencing this. First, it's okay. I need to be accepted. I need to love myself, accept that they are there, but in a loving way, be compassionate with myself and then start the healing process. When you start that healing you start showing up or your soul starts to, because it's like we're taking a layer that is not allowing our soul to express itself in an authentic way because that is covering it up. And all those emotions are there, but it are covering the real us. It's covering our light. So when I start looking into those emotions, allowing them to flourish, to happen, I see them, I accept them, then I can start that healing. And when I heal that, what I, I heal the root of those issues, then is I, I start, you know, expressing the, the authenticity of my soul and the authenticity of myself. So that's a way you can express yourself in a more authentic way. Uh, what new aspects are you, of yourself are you discovering? Oh, contribution. We're getting the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles is about collaboration. It's about uh, um, contributing with other people, maybe contributing with the community, with uh, people that you work with, uh, with family members. It's about everybody working together towards a goal. And this is um, a card that shows community, that, show, uh, that shows team playing, um, so you are discovering a side of you. Maybe you are usually a loner and you prefer to work by yourself, but you're discovering that you, because you want to create these new connections, that it's important for you to start looking for these people. And most likely these people are just going to show up, but you need to be open. You need to open your heart 
and allow yourself to be vulnerable and allow yourself to receive these people coming into your life. And then you can collaborate to them. You can work together. Um, you can create a community that uh, is important to you. Um, how can you be a more effective and compassionate leader? We're getting the Empress. Beautiful. The How you can be a more compassionate leader, it's uh, about connecting to your divine feminine. So we all have divine feminine and divine masculine. We all have, we all have both energies. We all express one more than the other. Most of people, some people really have those uh, two energies in balance, but some have expressed more than the other. But it is through divine feminine, through receiving intuition, through allowing uh, the divinity, allowing the subtle energies, allowing compassion, love, that you can be more of a compassionate leader. This makes a lot of sense. Uh, we connect to um, the, the energy of creation. Um, we uh, inspire other people and we allow that to flow through us and connect and inspire other people. This is not only about doing, doing, doing. And being a leader is not only about taking action. This is what usually most people think about. And we um, um, in society, um, we are very, in a patriarchal society, we are very focused into doing action. And we put divine feminine aside. Um, but it is now important in this time to call on this divine feminine as well, to embrace it, to allow it to flow through us, to connect to it in order to create that balance. And so you can be more of a compassionate leader by, um, by showing compassion, by listening to your heart and taking decisions that are not only based on logic, on the brain, but it's also including people's feelings and how they are and uh, including emotion, including listening. So that's how we can be a more of an effective, uh, compassionate leader. Where are you best placed right now to lead? By example. And it is possible right now that um, we're getting the seven of wands and where are you best placed to lead by example? And this person is kind of like in, in a bubble protecting herself uh, from everybody else. And this is kind of like we have to stand in our ground. And this relates a lot about uh, what I was saying uh, about the, the inner core values. Because when I believe in my values and I believe in what I can give in, uh, and I'm, I'm sure of who I am, I stand up for myself, I stand up for my ideals, but I keep an open mind and I listen to other people as well. So you're a best place to lead by example when you stand up for yourself, where you stand up for what you believe, but you're not so closed up that you don't accept anybody else's ideas. And then the last question, uh, which areas of your life may require more courage in the next six months? I'm going to pull a couple of cards here. Which areas of your life may require more courage in the next six months? Oh my God, what is going on? Okay. Okay, your love, romantic love requires a lot of courage. Maybe you have been closed up a little bit uh, in the past. Uh, you're not allowing other people to really get to know you, get to know the real you. Uh, this, oh my God, this really relates again uh, uh, with the first card where we're talking about what you want to create. You want to create new connections. But for creating that, those new connections, we need to allow ourselves to be vulnerable. 
um, and that vulnerability, um, it's very courageous. It's extremely courageous because we don't know what the other is going to come up with. But even though uh, there can be fear, I don't know what the other person can do or say, I allow myself to show myself as I am. That's vulnerability. Um, also, uh, in, uh, in your family, in creating, creating a sustainable uh, financial um, foundation for your family, there's, I feel that for some of you, there's something brewing. You want to create something more in terms of finances. You want to create a foundation that is more solid for you and for the future, which is very, um, on my YouTube channel, uh, I just uploaded uh, a video that relates to something about this. It's about um, a new, uh, it's a, an aspect, um, a transit that is present right now that is really asking us for transformation and change. It's about Uranus uh, in conjunction with the North Node and Mars in Taurus. And all of those three are in a square with Saturn. So please go take a look uh, at that video because we're really beating. If you have been resisting to change, the universe is giving us a push right now to go into transformation. So each aspect, each um, whenever whatever you have those um, transits in your in your chart, it will influence you or is asking you to change something specific. So for some of us, you know, we need to create a new way of um, sustainability, uh, self being self-sufficient, uh, thinking in another way, allowing change to happen and not resisting change. And um, it's important for you to look for other, um, other ways that you can make money. Uh, or maybe you are being called to, you know, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to do what I'm doing. I want to change. Um, so this is a good time, you know, to have that, you probably have that impulse and you really want to uh, start looking into that. Um, another area of your life, uh, where you need to, and you require, uh, courage for the next six months, if with the King of Cups, it's talking about your emotions. Uh, it's talking about you, the relationship with you, uh, your emotions. I talked about the emotions when we uh, were talking about the moon. Um, what is showing up in my life? What um, am I being uh, too stressed? Do I have anxiety? Do I have um, depression? What emotion? Maybe I'm angry. Maybe I have a lot of resentment and I don't even know why because I cannot consciously recognize it. You really need to start looking into it to be able to heal and to be able to reconcile with the things that have created that emotion. That emotion is there for a reason. It's not there just because. There is a reason why that is there and you need to start looking into it to be able to heal and move forward and allow that change to happen. So the message here is not don't resist. Uh, set the new intentions for the new moon in Leo. Um, you, you have to be very courageous. So if you have bold intentions, there are things that you wanted to create and you thought maybe you couldn't, you thought you didn't have what it takes. You do, you have gifts, you have talents, you are not thrown into this lifetime, uh, without any talent. You do have plenty, you have a purpose. So go for it. Sit down, write those intentions, and start, you know, focusing your energy uh, from the, your heart and your love. So this is what I wanted to share. Remember to go check out my YouTube channel. Um, you can check out my profile and, and go look into it. If not, you can go to my blog, lauratio.com. Click on blog, and then you'll find uh, the, the link there to the, uh, to the post. And... Um, Thank you for listening to me. If you want to book an appointment with me uh, because you want to have a chat about how you can start that inner transformation, you can do so on lauratio.com or just send me a DM and uh, let's see how I can support you uh, in this transformation that you're looking for. So thank you and happy new moon in Leo. Uh, have a, an amazing evening.
Take care.